The whitespace storytelling strategy is one of the best ways to position and differentiate your startup because it gives you a way to show that there is a gap in the marketplace where there are unmet customer needs and how you have created an offering that's tailored to those specific needs and why you're the best founder to fill this gap with your product. Now the question is, how do you come up with this white space strategy? In this video, I'm going to share with you the steps you need to get the process started, as well as two simple methods to develop and showcase the concept both to yourself and to the audiences that you share your story with. Hi, I'm Lynn Grout, founder of Storytelling for Entrepreneurs, where we help founders leverage the power of story to launch and grow their business. In previous video, I shared the story of Ken Kendra Scott, a woman out of Austin, Texas, who used the white space concept to develop her business strategy and create her founder's story to launch her jewelry business and then build a billion dollar global brand in the process. I'm going to put a link in the comments below so you can see exactly how she did it. Now, depending on your business, you can use a similar process to create this white space strategy and then be able to carve out your own niche in the marketplace, even in crowded spaces. Now, to begin with, let's make sure that we are on the same page in terms of exactly what this concept means. Simply put, what you want to think of this white space is this gap in the marketplace, a place where competitors are ignoring or maybe they can't do very well or they have not discovered yet. This opening creates an attractive market opportunity. What you want to do is find this gap, take advantage of it, and then weave your story around it. Now to do this, there are four steps to make this happen. Step number one is you want to analyze the market. You want to take the time to understand the industry and really get a lay of the land. That means studying key information about the market, the customers, and the competitors, and any of the other attributes about the industry. Where is the market right now, and what are the current and future trends? What are customers buying right now, and what are they looking for? Who are the players in the field, both the direct and the indirect competitors? Step number two is you want to identify the gap. Once the analysis is complete, it's about identifying the opportunity within the industry. Ask yourself what's missing. What has the competition not seen or defined as of yet? Where are the pain points for your customers and where are their needs not being met? The goal is to find a niche, a hole in the market, or a customer segment that nobody is focusing on. This is the white space, the gap if you will. Step number three is about exploiting this gap. Now that you have identified the white space, it's about exploiting the gap as much as possible. You do this by taking a mental inventory, so to speak. You want to understand the space in depth and all the related attributes about it. Think of it as building this mental matrix of information that you understand the space in detail. This means figuring out what the variables are. And this is the key to the step that help you describe and visualize the gap so it's easy to explain and fast to grasp when you share it with others. That gets us to step number four, which is mapping your offering to this gap. Here, you're going to connect the opportunity you've uncovered with the ideal offering that you have created and detail the skill sets, resources, and capabilities that you bring to the table and explain why it's a perfect fit, as well as mapping to what the competitors are not doing or may not be able to do as well or as fast as you. So with the market analyzed, the gap identified, the opening exploited, and you've mapped it to your offering, now it's a matter of tailoring your message and bringing this story to life. Because you have done these four steps, you can intelligently craft your story in a way that's going to resonate with your audience. Entrepreneurs often have trouble or flat out fail because they are not able to articulate what the market opportunity is or how they are different. The white space strategy gives you just the right tool to show this opportunity, explain why you and your offering are unique in a highly visible and distinct manner. Now there are a number of ways to visually illustrate the white space strategy and I'm going to show you a couple examples that are ideal for capturing the concept in a powerful way. The first is to have a diagram with four quadrants in a box and you're using two of the variables from step three along these axes here. Essentially this is the derivative of the Boston Consulting Group matrix for you old school folks. Let's take a category that I spent a lot of time in which is a consumer packaged good space or CPG for example. Two common variables that we might use in the CBG space is healthy on one axis and then tasting great on the other. Over here you have products that taste great up in this category but aren't very healthy for you. Then in this area you have products that are healthy but they don't taste very good. And then in this quadrant you have things that doesn't taste very good and they're not healthy for you. I don't know why that people do that but it is what it is. But the magic quadrant right here is the white space 
tastes great, and it's really good for you. This is the sweet spot you want to identify because you're going to fill this with your product. That defined, then it's a matter of explaining how your offering fits this gap perfectly. Maybe touch on why there is nobody else doing it right now, or they can't move into this space right away. And of course, why you're the right founder to actually own this segment. A second way to do this is by putting axes on the far left and then on the bottom right without any specific quadrants, where the values increase as you move up the axis or you move to the right on the bottom axis. Now you can use this diagram to illustrate how Kendra Scott positioned her handcrafted jewelry when she launched, where quality is along the, vert is along the horizontal axis and then price is along the vertical axis. Now in this top area here, when she launched, there were high quality products that were very expensive, $2,000 for a piece of jewelry. And then there was this other area down here, which were cheap in quality and cheap in price for 20 bucks. What Kendra did is come in with her handcrafted jewelry and create a gorgeous looking product right here in the center. This is the sweet spot, that white space, that gap, if you will, that she came up with the right price, with the right product, and she knew the audience that she was going to go after and market her product to. Now, either of these diagrams are a quick and easy way to illustrate where this niche is that you're going to go after and capture. And whether you use these diagrams to show investors or simply verbalize the story when you're talking with customers, for me, the white space concept is an ideal metaphor for opportunity for founders because it has these unique ability to impress upon audiences the markets you're going to go after that nobody else is focusing on, how your offering is going to fill this need and why you're just the right entrepreneur to do it. All done in a way that is compelling, memorable, and unique to who you are and what your offering is. And that is the kind of story that every founder should strive for. Thanks for watching.